What's a four letter word that starts with M? Well, mold might be one that you don't wanna hear. Today, we're gonna dive into the mold issue um, as it comes up in homes and share with you when mold is an issue, when it can, it can be dealt with uh, locally, when you need to call the experts and all that great stuff. I'm Jim with the Bishop team, your leading realtors here in Orange County, California. Let's dive in. So first of all, mold is everywhere. It's in every house, it's inside, it's outside. It's been around forever. In fact, it's even mentioned in the Bible. Now there's three things that you need for mold to grow. One is water, two is a surface on which it grows, and three is food. And food for mold can even be uh, drywall. So giving those criteria, mold can grow in your kitchens and bathrooms. Um, if you've got a roof leak, it can come, the water can come in from there. It uh, can be from a burst pipe up through the foundation, um, from flooding, from rain, all sorts of sources. So the first thing to do is identify where the water is coming from and address that problem. So if you think you might have water intrusion, what do you do? Well, um, if it's not evident whether it's wet or not, say you see a, a stain on the ceiling or in the wall or even on the floor, the baseboards, contractors, inspectors, uh, and tradesmen like that will have what's called a moisture meter and they can probe the material and see if there are higher levels of moisture than, than there should be. There's gonna be water at a low level in things like drywall and the ceilings and the floors and stuff. But at an elevated level, that can indicate a problem. So that's where the moisture meter comes in handy, especially on an inspection. We had one where the chimney appeared to be leaking. It wasn't invisible at first, but when the contractor and the inspector probed the drywall, it's about 50 feet of drywall that had gotten wet from this leak down the chimney and spread out major problem. Once you've determined that there is water, what are the next steps? So just because something is wet doesn't necessarily mean there is mold. To really determine if there is mold, that does require a laboratory test. Those samples can be taken. Surface samples and air samples are the main methods. So if, if you get to the point where you need testing, they're going to typically take samples around the affected area and then what are called ambient samples outside other areas of the home that aren't affected to make sure that just because you see a level of something, it's not something that's everywhere in the air, not related to the leak. Now, in some cases, when you, when you see water damage and you have to fix that, you don't necessarily have to get mold testing. And that's where the 10 square foot rule comes into play. If you have an affected area less than 10 square feet, like five by two, you can treat it yourself. And sometimes that's drywall, removing the baseboards, making sure the leak, the source of the problem is fixed, cleaning everything up and putting it back together. How do you clean it up? One method is to dilute bleach in water and clean it the old fashioned way. Glove up. Um, if, if there is mold in there, you'll probably want to wear a mask. If you're sensitive to that, clean it up, dry it out. Sometimes you need blowers, sometimes you need uh, dehumidifiers to dry out that area. Once you fix the source of the problem, removed any damaged materials, then you can put it back together. If the area is greater than 10 feet, then you need to call in the professionals. And again, if you know you have damage, you don't necessarily have to test for mold. You can just go straight to fixing the problem. If you do want to test for mold, we have vendors that we work with and sometimes uh, that's necessary in an inspection if the seller is giving a buyer a pushback that uh, oh yeah it's fine don't worry about it buyer might be sensitive to mold or doesn't want to buy a, a problem that's existing and inherit that they might get mold testing to say hey look here's a report that shows that there is mold we need to fix that problem we had tenants who got pushback from the landlord landlord was like oh fine we got a report that said there were high, high levels of mold. And that was actually, uh, he didn't fix it. So we were able to break the lease for our clients because of that. There are different types of mold. The testing will, will test for um, various types of mold. Some people are allergic to molds. 
most uh, people are not. So every case is different and the types of mold can affect uh, the reaction that people have. Now, if you're getting mold in your bathroom, um, sometimes it's just, hey, you gotta run the exhaust fan or you have to open a window or you might have to just clean more frequently. That is a that is one of the biggest places where you, you could potentially see mold and mildews in the bathroom because of the heat, the food, the water, and that environment that's perfect for growing mold. So make sure you use that exhaust fan. Make sure you're cleaning frequently. Same thing around the kitchen sink. If you're seeing it elsewhere in your home, Again, that could be a source of uh, a leaking pipe, a foundation issue, chimney, roof, even the wind blowing a rain sideways in, into the home. So that's a, a brief recap of the four letter word mold. If you encounter a situation where you need to test or remediate, give us a call. We have vendors that we work with and can help you with that and any other real estate needs that you have. I'm Jim with the Bishop team, your leading realtors here in Orange County, California, helping you with all things real estate.